Thank you viewers, I am Tutor Kletus Okoli. In today's class, we shall be taking an Olympic math question as written on the board to solve x to the power of 4 equal to x minus 1 or to the power of 4. I encourage you to watch the video to the end. And meanwhile, if it is your first time of stopping by, kindly subscribe to my channel for exciting videos. Now, diving in into this question that we are given, I want us to start from the right hand side. And that is by moving the right hand side to the left hand side. So, we shall have our first expression written as x to the power 4. Moving from the right to the left, I will have minus x minus 1 all to the power 4 equal to 0. That is our first step. Now, as we have it here, let us look at this. If I give you n to the power of 2 or to the power of 2, it is equal to n to the power of 4. Meaning that my n to the power of 4 can be written in this form. And this is simply true because of the product law of indices that the power inside the bracket can multiply with the power outside the bracket. Therefore, I am going to write my x to the power of 4 in this form. And my x minus 1 to the power of 4 also in this form. That means I shall now have x to the power of 4 written as x to the power of 2 all to the power of 2 minus the second one which is x minus 1 to the power of 2 then also to the power of 2 again equal to 0. What have I done? I have written my x minus 1 to the power of 4 as x minus 1 to the power of 2 all to the power of 2 and the same thing to my x to the power of 4 written as x to the power of 2 all in the bracket then raised to the power of 2. This is what I have. But if you look at it very well, you can agree with me that the difference of two squares can come in. And that is, if I have n to the power of 2 minus n to the power of 2, this is the difference of two squares. Meaning, I can write it as n minus n, n plus n. They are equal. So, let us take our x to the power of 2 to be my n. So let my n be x to the power of 2. And let my n be x minus 1 to the power of 2. My m is x minus 1 to the power of 2. So I will now write this up with a difference of two squares as it is put in the bracket here. Therefore, I will now have my n taken, which is x to the power of 2 minus my m, okay? And my m is x minus 1 to the power of 2. Then, everything inside the bracket for the first bracket. Then, for the second bracket, I still take my m. And my m here is x to the power 2. Then, I will now use plus this time around. Plus my m, which is x minus 1 to the power 2. I put it also inside the bracket equal to zero. That is where I am now. Now, the next thing I will do, I want to expand this bracket since it is raised to power two. That is, my x minus one to the power of two, if I want to expand it, I will take the first term and expand it, take the second term and expand it. That is, if I square the first term, I get x squared. If I square the second term, I get 1 squared, which is 1. Then I multiply the 2 times, which is x times minus 1, to give me minus x. Then I multiply it by 2 to get minus 2x. Therefore, the expansion of this is going to be x squared minus, into the bracket, I will now get here, x squared minus 2x plus 1, then everything inside the bracket. Then in my second bracket, I still have the same thing. I will expand it to still get what I have here, which is x squared minus 2x, then plus 1, then I close the bracket. Everything is equal to 0. Now, I want to open this bracket so that I have one single bracket here 
and that is going to give me x squared now minus times this will give me minus x squared minus times this will give me plus 2x minus times plus 1 will give me minus 1 into the second bracket which is plus so i will now have x squared plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 everything is equal to zero so my brackets now are very simple but then x squared minus x squared will give me zero leaving me in the first bracket which is simply 2x minus 1 and inside my second bracket i can add x squared plus x squared to get 2x squared then minus 2x plus 1 everything is equal to zero what does this mean it implies therefore that the first bracket is equal to zero and the second bracket is also equal to zero therefore i will now write in my first bracket i will have 2 x minus 1 is equal to zero meaning that solving from that first bracket i shall now have 2 x minus 1 equal to zero and my 2 x will be equal to 1 and the x will be 1 all over 2 first answer for the value of x we now go into the second bracket which if you look very well you see that and agree with me that it is a quadratic equation where i have it 2 x squared then minus 2 x plus 1 equal to 0 this is the second bracket now we can now solve it as a a quadratic equation will have so many formulas but let us apply quadratic formula where we can say now here that a is equal to 2 my b is negative 2 and my c is 1 so the quadratic formula says that minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now my b is negative 2 which is minus minus 2 plus or minus then minus 2 squared into 4 times my a my a is 2 and my c is 1 everything all over 2 times 2 that is 2a so this is now going to give me positive 2 minus minus is positive then inside the square root sign minus 2 squared will give me 4 minus 4 times 2 times 1 will give me minus 8 everything here all over 4 we continue to move forward and that is going to be for us next year i shall now have 2 plus or minus the square root of minus 4 all over 4 that is 4 minus 8 now from what i have here this second bracket which is this is about to result to, or is already resulting to uh, complex roots because of this negative inside the square root and therefore we treat it as cos i can now write it as 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 multiplied by minus 1 all over 4 which is now going to be for me 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of negative 1 all over 4 moving forward i will have 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 and square root of negative 1 will give me simply my i all over 4 now i can now separate it to get my first value with addition and that is 2 plus 2 i can factor 2 out to get 1 plus i all over 2 ha i have 2 factored outside leaving me 1 with plus i then all over 4 this will cancel this to give me 2 that is how i got this then i take minus the same thing will happen i will have 1 minus i all over 2 so these are the two values of x so we can now say the first second value of x is 1 plus i all over 2 while the third value of x is 1 minus i all over 2 and these are our answers 
But then, since the third answer is complex, the second answer is complex, but the first answer is real value. Let us use the first answer to see if our answer will be correct. That means I have from the equation that I am given that x raised to the power 4 is equal to x minus 1 all to the power 4. So anywhere I see x, I put the value of x that is real, and that is going to be 1 over 2 to the power 4 equal to 1 over 2 minus 1 to the power 4. Solving this, 1 over 2 to the power 4 will give me 1 all over 16. And also, you see with me that 1 over 2 minus 1 is negative 1 over 2. And when I raise it to power 4, negative raised to power even number will give me positive. So it is still going to give me 1 all over 16. Authenticating our answer that the value of x in this question, therefore, x is equal to 1 over 2. Very correct for the real value. Now, the next thing that I want us to look into, I have gotten three answers, three roots for this equation. The first is 1 over 2. The second one is 1 plus i all over 2. The third one is 1 minus i all over 2. But we have to the power 4. Does it mean that the roots are not supposed to be equal to three answers? No. Why? Because, let us look at this very well. If I have here x to the power 4 equal to x minus 1 to the power 4. I want to expand this x minus 1 to the power 4. And what is it going to give me? It is going to give me x to the power 4 equal to this x to the power 4 will give me x to the power 4 plus 4x to the power 3 plus 6x to the power 2 plus 4x to the power 1 and then plus 1. Therefore, if I move this x to the power 4 to the right hand side, I shall now have x to the power 4, that is this. This one crossing over will be minus x to the power 4, then plus 4x to the power 3, plus 6x to the power 2, plus 4x plus 1. Now you can see that this and this will cancel, leaving me with 4x to the power 3 plus 6x to the power 2 plus 4x plus 1. You can now agree with me that the highest degree of x is 3. The highest power of x is 3. And that is why we got 3 solutions, 3 rules for the equation that we are given. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Like my video, share my video to your friends, and then subscribe if it is your first time of stopping by. I remain to talk later so clearly. God bless you. Nambu, I'm going to move my